Hey, 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 morning people. This is Michelle back. Just had my breakfast. <clears throat> um, you know, fruit, some tea, and snacking, snacking, snacking. I like to snack all day, as I've said. So just wanted to come back and to let you know about, you know, what's going on and, and how I how I'm doing. I'm doing fantastic, magnificent, and wonderful. And trust me on that. But I want to encourage people that listen, uh, you know, just to to um, to know that sometimes um, you're going to run into people all over the world, all over the universe, all over the social media, especially who really are not walking the talk. And I'm just going to keep saying that just so you know that. Everything happens through you. You have to make the effort to make things happen. And sure, it's okay to have a, you know, like like I said, with, with genuine teachers, they know that they're not supposed to be persuading you, indoctrinating you, convincing you, demanding, using fear tactics, they do not use any type of hatred towards anyone, whether they disagree with that person or not. Hatred is the last, um, hatred doesn't even enter into a genuine teacher and a genuine messenger and a genuine disseminator or disciples, helpers, whatever you want to call them. And it's all names and it means they're meaningless, the names. And I told you it's about the action and behavior. So anytime you come across anyone that's uh, supposedly helping you, first of all, you need to know what their intentions are. And you want to know what your results. Tell them to show you some results of whatever they are uh, attempting to convince you of, persuade you of, um, you know, what's the results? And all you have to do, you have to really be discerning and honest. I mean, di discerning and judging. A lot of people hate that when they're being judged. But there's different factors to that. And I think I explained that several times. Uh, I say judging because a lot of people don't know what discer discerning. We don't use discerning very much, that word. And so that's why I say words are meaningless. It's the behavior and the actions. But you do need to just kind of pay attention to what people are saying to you. And say, okay, what's this? What's this person's results? Because that does matter, doesn't it? The results, the end results, does matter. So, and remember, uh, as I told you, with me, uh, all I'm putting out is information, theories, and opinions. And I like to say for entertainment purposes only, so that the, like I said, to keep the uh, intellectual talking heads at bay. You know, because they are there. I, I, I can I can sense on the on the social media that they're going to be at a fever pitch, especially during the summer. OK, because the summer gets a little difficult for a lot of people as far as uh, income, because the children are out of school, blah, 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 blah. And a lot of people relied on all, you know, on certain type of activities just so they can generate some income. OK, and a lot of people just don't prepare themselves. I've done that. So my point is, is that, you know, without me failing in a whole lot of ag, um, action, uh, without me failing in a lot of actions in my life, I wouldn't know what succeeding is at all. Okay. I failed a lot. I remember I told you I had made these big, you know, kept making these plans for years and years and years, you know, in the journey to get to a particular destination. And once I got to that destination, it was a, it was a nightmare. And I was almost killed. And the reason was, is I wasn't listening to myself. I got warnings. That's my point. I got warnings that said, no, 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 no. I, got, I used to have nightmares. Okay. I used to have these visions. Okay. Just being, warning me that that's not where I need to be. But I disregarded it. Okay. So I'm glad I learned that lesson to... And to pay attention to what's going on inside of me, regardless of what anybody else is saying, it's good to get information from people. And like I said, there's billions and billions of people talking out there. But the person you need to listen to is yourself. 
at the end of the day. Okay, and at the end of the day, back in the day, I wasn't listening to myself. I kept getting the warning signs. No, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. But I did it. And then, you know, so I'm thankful I got through it. I got through that situation and I know better now. And so, like I said, experiences, you need experiences and you need experiences of failure. Okay. You don't need these intellectual talking heads, just talking, talking, talking and creating false, um, experiences of, uh, of abuse, false, uh, experiences of being this and that. There's a lot of people lying to you about how much abuse they have experienced, how much, uh, this and that and the other they've experienced. Okay. You just have to pay attention to all of that. And that's your responsibility. There's a lot of people just coming out, you know, they got books out, you know, they got movies coming out and all this and that. There's a lot of people that are usually at the pyramid. They're usually those ones at the top of the pyramid, but it can be anyone where they're just lying to you about how, how bad they had it. <laughs> Child. Or how bad their experiences were. Okay. Like I said, we grew up, I grew up in a family of love. Okay. We did not, I did not see ourselves as, as poor as all, at all. We did not feel poor. Okay. I came from a home of, uh, of, a, of, of a, a masculine man, my father and a feminine woman, my mother. Okay. And I saw the complexities with that kind of dynamic coming together. Okay, it, it has all kind of uh, dy dynamics with it. And I'm glad I was able to experience it. Okay, and know, okay, okay, that some some relationships are, I mean, it was, a, it was a healthy relationship sometimes and sometimes it wasn't. It's all based on their behavior. But they, the, the two of them, okay, they, they knew, you know, they knew what they were signing up for. Because I remember I, I told you my dad first saw my mom in a small little city getting on a school bus with her sister and he somehow he just paid attention to her. Hmm. Okay. He saw her getting on the school bus with one of her sisters. Cool. And then, I don't know, 10, 15 years later, they ended up in the same city. And guess what? She saw him. <laughs> and the rest is history. <laughs> So there is an alignment as well. There's energy as well. And it's all, it's all invisible and it's all spiritual. But at the, what I'm saying is that, you know, once you have that inside of yourself worked out as best you can, where you are dealing with reality, honey, the sky is the limit. All right. So make sure you protect yourself and protect that. Because there's a lot of people coming after that. And that's that 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 is that's something internal within you that that's confidence. And uh, a lot of people that that lack empathy, all they want to do is recreate that. Because they don't know what it means. And they don't know how it feels, what it sounds like, what it feels like, what it looks like. So all they're trying to do is recreate it and package it up and try to sell it as if that's what they're all about. Okay, so uh, listen to that, feel that, see that. Okay. Um, things are working out for me. 80 to 85%. I'll, I'll go up to say 85 to 90% of what I visualize. Cause I know what to do now. I know, I, I, in other words, I failed, um, some time ago in, in all of this. And so now I know what to do to make it and, 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 and it's working. It's, everything's working here. Okay. I'm moving here. I'm I N G ing. I'm walking the talking. Okay. And it's happening. And again, just, pay, just pay attention to you, you know, be gentle with you. Okay. And know, especially if you put the work in, you put the effort in, and you have the right intentions and you're doing everything in your power to be a righteous human being. Okay. You're ahead of the game, honey. You're ahead of the game because most people are not doing that. No matter what they're saying to you on the social media platforms. Cause that's where it's all, that's where it's all 
consecrated, consecrated, consecrated. <laughs> I can't speak this way, but you know what I'm saying. That's where they are. They, you know, and that's where, and that's where billions of us are as well. That's where we pay a lot of our time as well. But that's going to change for the for the right people at the right time. They're going to get their head up out of their cell phones and start looking and being present in their lives. Okay. And um, in that moment of their life and, and in the paradise that awaits them. Okay. So stay the course. All right. Um, don't be afraid to unfollow people. Okay. Don't be afraid of that. And don't be concerned if people are unfollowing you. Okay. Um, my my goal is to get people off spending so much time on social media platforms. That's the ultimate. I know that's an uphill battle because that, I'm talking about, you know, billions and billions of people. But I told you I'm going to reach, I'm going to reach who I can reach. And everybody else is on their own. We're not going to be able to save everybody. But there are more than just myself doing this. There's others out there. But again, be aware of the false teachers, the ones that do not have the experience. Okay, and all they're doing is walking. I mean, who, what they're doing is just talking and talking and talking. But they're not walking the talking. They don't have results. Okay? And results means what? Okay, think about it. All right, so I'm going to send peace and love. And trust me, I'll be back.